In 1930, the Federation Internationale de Football Association, FIFA, held soccer's first World Cup tournament in Montevideo, Uruguay. There were a total of 13 teams in the first World Cup. Besides the host Uruguay, there were Argentina, Belgium, Brazil, Bolivia, Chile, France, Mexico, Paraguay, Peru, Romania, the United States and Yugoslavia. The first two World Cup matches took place simultaneously, France defeated Mexico 4-1, and the United States beat Belgium 3-0. Both matches were played in Montevideo, Uruguay on July 13, 1930. France's captain in the first World Cup match, Alex Villaplane, was killed 15 years later for alleged collaboration with the Nazis. Villaplane was shot dead by French resistance fighters in July 1945. A record that will surely never be beaten. The lowest recorded attendance for a match was 300 spectators for the match between Romania and Peru in Montevideo on July 14, 1930. The Romanian team in World Cup 1930 were selected by their king. The football crazy King Carol II of Romania personally selected the team, and asked the employers to grant each player a three-month leave with full pay. Uruguayan goalkeeper Antonio Mazzoli returned home before kickoff of the 1930 finals as he had sneaked out from the hotel without permission. The Uruguayan team had been isolated in a Montevideo hotel for almost eight weeks before Mazzoli sneaked out one night to visit his family. Mazzoli was a member of Uruguay's Olympic gold medal teams in 1924 and 1928 but he had never appeared in any World Cup finals. The match between Argentina and France on July 15, 1930 was terminated by the referee by mistake six minutes before time. The Brazilian referee Almeida Rego whistled to end the match at the 39th minute in the second half when Argentina was leading 1-0. He resumed the match half an hour later, but no goal was scored in the extra time. The USA trainer had to be carried off unconscious during the 1930 semi-final against Argentina after he ran to the pitch to attend an injured player, dropped his medicine box, and broke a bottle of chloroform. When he tried to pick up the broken bottle, he took in the fumes and fell to the ground immediately. The injured player recovered without any treatment. The two semi-final matches saw identical 6-1 scores as Argentina beat the U.S. and Uruguay defeated Yugoslavia. Thousands of Argentinian supporters failed to attend the 1930 final as their boats were delayed due to thick fog. Eight of the ten chartered boats were unable to arrive in time for the final, though fortunately the match referee was on the first boat that arrived. Uruguay and Argentina tossed up before the 1930 final to choose the ball as both teams wanted to use their own homemade ball in the final. Argentina won and their ball was used in the first half and the Uruguayan ball the second half. Hector Castro, who scored Uruguay's winning goal in the 1930 final, had only one hand. He had lost one hand and part of his arm in a childhood accident. An unexpected consequence of Argentina's defeat in the 1930 final was that the Argentinian president was overthrown several days after the final. Argentinian President Tyreek Oyen was overthrown in a military coup flamed by the deeply disappointed citizens. After winning the World Cup in 1930, the Uruguayan players were treated as national heroes and each player was presented with a plot of land and a new house by the municipality of Montevideo. World Cup Firsts More Firsts The first player to be replaced in World Cup finals due to injury was French goalkeeper Alex Thabant. The goalkeeper was kicked by a Mexican player in the jaw in the opening match of the 1930 World Cup. He was replaced by midfielder Augustin Chantrell. The first match ever played was between Mexico and France, with France winning 4-1, played in Montevideo, Uruguay on July 13, 1930. The first player to score in the World Cup was Lucien Laron of France in the 19th minute in the first World Cup match on July 13, 1930. 
The first player in the World Cup to score a penalty goal was Mexico's Manuel Raquitas Roses against Argentina on July 19, 1930. The first player to score a hat trick in a World Cup match was United States' Bert Padinode, who did this against Paraguay in the first round of the 1930 World Cup. Some records wrongly have the first player scoring a hat trick as Guillermo Stabile of Argentina in their 6 3 win over Mexico on July 19, 1930, two days after Padinode. The first player ever to be sent off in a World Cup match was from Peru in a match against Romanian on July 14, 1930. Various sources list the person as either Placido Galindo or Mario de las Cosas. Results of Uruguay 1930 Group 1 Results France 4-1 Mexico Argentina 1-0 France Chile 3-0 Mexico Argentina 6-3 Mexico Chile 1-0 France Argentina 3-1 Chile Group 2 Results Yugoslavia 2-1 Brazil Yugoslavia 4-0 Bolivia Brazil 4-0 Bolivia Group 3 Results Romania 3-1 Peru Uruguay 1-0 Peru Uruguay 4-0 Romania Group 4 Results United States 3-0 Belgium United States 3-0 Paraguay Paraguay 1-0 Belgium Semi-Finals Results Argentina 6-1 United States Uruguay 6-1 Yugoslavia World Cup Final Uruguay 4-2 Argentina